What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Child, we about to get into Blueface Mama just going clean off on uh, Blueface's father. All right, now this was a 40-minute live. She went off for 40 whole minutes, and I know because she had 186 F-words on, uh, on this video. But we're going to get into it anyway. Um, we're going to get into 15 minutes of it. I will give you the link to go to the actual video with no... Um, no with, without me talking. All right, let's get it. Girl, she couldn't wait to go off. And let me do this too, because at some point, them boobs come in there. I ain't got time. Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Go ahead and go off. Damn, I got a pee. The worst. Better than me. I would have peed in the jacuzzi. Too. Good morning, y'all. Hate to always have to come at such terrible circumstances. There's Cap. some liars in this world, boy. There's some liars out here, child. That ninja couldn't tell y'all what junior high or high school my son went to. <laughs> the only reason he know what college he went to is because I invited him. I was nothing but nice to you. I've never spoke anything down or negative. I never told your son you was a bum ass, homeless ass, drunk ass. I never told my son what you really was and what you was really about. And then he had to find out the hard way when you robbed him literally robbed him i'm gonna interview your family i'm gonna interview jc and i'm gonna interview suzette i'm gonna interview damn. your daughters too damn we don't let the people know i don't know why y'all keep trying to come for me and my character like it's common sense i did my job i got the high school diploma ask him if he was the daddy why don't he got it damn my daddy got mine your daddy got yours right <laughs> Got the high school diploma, all three of them upstairs. Ain't nobody asked for him. Ain't nobody asked for a copy of him. He couldn't tell you what my son's GPA was when he graduated. I included him and involved him like a mother should. That man. That'd be the problem. And I don't feel like mothers have to. If the daddy don't want to be involved, don't let him. Yeah, what I'm what am I forcing it for? I feel like they always throw it in your and face. He literally sat in my face and told me he couldn't stand that retarded ass girl. And she was going to take his son down. That's why he up over there. Now, tell the lady the truth. You don't like her. You don't mm. like what she stand for. Tell her what you told me and Jaden when we went over there. Stop faking and stop lying. If I start posting your real ass text messages, letting her know how you really feel about her. Uh. Why you really up over there. And why is that? It's just becoming a nuisance. Now, Why is he over there? Clout, you could have just asked for it. I would have just gave you some. You ain't seen them other daughters of yours or them other grandkids of yours in a month, a year of Sundays. Because <laughs> you don't give a f about them because they ain't got no clout and they ain't got no money. Who have a whole daughter and don't f with that babe, grandbaby, but you over there with Riri messing with her. Good job, Krishan, not giving him no clout, girl, because as soon as you give it to him, he's going to rob your ass just like he did his own son. Good job not posting his page and giving him what he want, because I ain't posting it. At least she open with it, because I will say every chance he get, it do look kind of cringy how he is clout chasing. <laughs> I would have just gave you the sh When my son graduated high school, he was on my husband's my husband's make sure y'all get this now because if i gotta go pull the records i will on my husband's medical and dental insurance now why the f are you anywhere near anybody asking for anything if my husband that you say hey. leave me had your child on medical and dental paying for your son's medical and dental child i got to find that t don't worry, I'm about to find it now. We're just trying to figure out where the hell you, which rock you done crawled up out of. Now, we know you were stand up over there with them, with that illegal immigrant lady. Oh, my God. Most of your life trying to trick that lady into doing what you say do to get her them papers. You didn't love that lady neither. 
You just over there trying to have her be a slave, an illegal immigrant slave for you. I talked to the lady. I know what you did to her. The background over is there making her do all this, this and that for you, cause so she could get some illegal, some legal paperwork. Shame on you for coming on here trying to talk badly about me, knowing that you thanked me thanked me and honored me for raising your child to be such a good stand-up citizen and getting him a college degree and getting him what your mama didn't get you. Damn. Now, his mama left him at 15 years old in a house, an empty, abandoned house. She left him there. And his daddy was a crackhead. So why it, it, <laughs> he lucked up on me because he had a big so-and-so <laughs> and a fake-ass I'll-be-sure smile, okay? And I felt <laughs> bad for him at the Thanks. time. But don't get on here and try to act like you was on my level. Nigga, you wasn't nowhere ever allowed nowhere I was at or my kids was at. Now get on here and tell these people the truth on here talking about my husband leaving. <clears throat> my husband leave me. Who gonna pay who gonna pay for your son's uh dent uh, dental and uh, That's what Blueface get the big meat from. I couldn't let it go. <laughs> uh insurance. That just fell off when he turned twenty eight. Huh? Don't make me get on here and tell the truth. You don't know where my son went to school in junior high. You can't tell these people what insurance I used to have his knee fixed. And I didn't just have my son knee fixed, y'all. I had my son knee fixed at UCLA. So if you know, you know. Okay, he didn't go to the little Cigna plan, the little with the Medi-Cal. No, sir. <laughs> we had good insurance then, too. Okay, my son got his knee fixed at UCLA. Now, ask that... If he talked to anybody in the billing department, <laughs> which person did you talk to? I ain't gonna lie, mamas be on niggas' ass when they do this. Too. Okay, because every time they what did he go to bill, school? Your ass ran Even out. Clarence. This <laughs> Clarence asked that nigga, Chris, how much it costs for CJ to go to school? He never answered the question, y'all. Hold up, no lie, my right hand, left hand to God. Yeah. Showed up to get my baby circumcised with, some, with a piggy bank. It was only $150. He showed up with a piggy bank. Piggy bank is crazy. And tried to argue with me about getting my tubes tied. Nigga, I'm not never having another kid for somebody to show up with a piggy bank full of coins to get the circumcision for $150. You're done. We're done having children here. So, yes, <laughs> I got my tubes tied. And he, because he was my husband, he tried to argue with me and tell me he wasn't signing that paper and his sister signed it for me. Hello, somebody. So, yes, my tubes were tied. Yes, you wasn't no getting no more kids out of me. You was right. They was tied. <laughs> you didn't know. Joke's on you. You wasn't getting no more sons. I would have tied my tubes, too. One. Okay, I had to find somebody to help do that. Okay? You're illiterate. Your family's illiterate. You Dang. came from illiterate stock. Stop <laughs> acting like you somebody you not. Now, I ain't never, ever said... I'm strictly reacting to this live, and I strictly edited all these curse words out for an hour to laugh at her cooking this nigga. Nothing bad about you in front of my son, because I didn't want him to know he came from a piece of background. <laughs> now, I did you a favor. I let you come stay at my house when you was homeless, even though I had a man in there. Oh. My son said, my daddy outside in a car, and he ain't got nowhere to go, and it's cold outside. I let your... That's come and get in my son's twin bed with him. Now, my other kids can vouch for this because they was there too. They ain't gonna I vouch. I let your ass Callie come about. into my house and you get on this internet and try to dog somebody that let you lay your ass down. My husband upstairs sleep. We finna celebrate our eighth anniversary. We ain't going nowhere. We the only in the circus with stability, okay? We the only that's watching this whole play out because we've been there for all our kids the whole way through my husband didn't even have matching socks when i met him paying two child support and letting them and one of the kids live with him okay that's what real men do now i don't know what the jonathan daddy was running around doing but he wasn't doing what my husband was doing clearly nothing okay i met my husband jonathan's junior year of high school he immediately put him on his medical and his dental so that my son could go to college like the rest of the people with medical insurance and dental insurance so somebody could keep on talking they sh keep on walking but my husband know the truth and that's the only person in this world and him and god that matter okay 
spirit. My husband had been to the prison to visit my son that's in jail and didn't even know him when he went to jail. Let's talk about where his wife is at, okay? Where that, your wife at? He ain't and got he's one. running around here with some woman that got three kids. She broke up with you told me that woman, you knew that woman was with you for the blue face clout. You knew that woman don't really like you. You know it. You using her for a little bit of ass and coochie here and there. You know it. You told me that out your own mouth, my right hand of God. You got her a place in Vegas and it was too far from the blue face clout. Why do they still tell each other stuff? So she left you, moved back to Sacramento. Now how I know your mother. I wouldn't tell her nothing business if you didn't tell me now keep talking and i'm gonna keep talking now if you don't get on here and start telling these the truth i'm gonna start telling them the truth i'm gonna pull out them child support bills that your ass is gonna go to jail for oh lord until they took your taxes now i'm such a g about it when they took his taxes and put that child support on that card you I gave, gave him the Jonathan. money Oh. Jonathan went to college with about $5,000 on a card that his daddy had to pay back child support. I didn't keep your money. I had a real ass husband that don't let me keep other niggas money. Okay, I gave your son that card. So if you want to be mad at somebody about the child support, boo, you need to be mad at your son. He probably he gave it back to the nigga. Support. He went down there and told him people your name when you disappeared for the 99th time and it was time for him to go to prom and you wasn't showing up with Die. But you're going to get on here and talk your talk about a woman that got your son all the way to college when all your homeboys' kids didn't get to go, didn't get no scholarship, no matter how big, how strong, or how tall them was, or how long they actually threw the ball with your son and you, you didn't do shit. But I got your son up out the hood and off to college. Yes, I did. And you thanked me for that back then. But what you're doing now does not represent who you are or what you're going through. So I'm going to let you have a pass for you to get you some clout. You do what you got to do. Quit giving these men passes. But, baby, when I got my clout, I told the truth. I don't have nothing to look back on, okay? Ain't no Wendy Williams in my skeleton in my closet. Whatever I said happened. Okay, I, I'm not going to lie for the clout. So for you to get on here and lie for the clout and not be real about it, you got to be a fool. It's only going to take about five minutes before WAP post that paperwork mm. that you stole and robbed your son of $100,000. Okay, who steals from their own... So you and WAP still cool. Son, then go up over... Now how he steal 100000 It must have been a cash. I'm going to live here and take care of the dogs in the house. You better... You got a hundred thousand before he even signed his deal. Never even told him about it. Damn. We not the same, bro. We not gonna never be the same. I don't steal from my kids. I give to my kids. Okay. That's why we ain't gonna never be the same. I know your mama left you at fifteen in the abandoned building for you to starve and fend for yourself. But I wasn't that mother. I gave your son a good ass house, a good ass life. Your son lived in a million dollar house Damn. when he graduated. Okay. Your son went to junior high school from a million dollar crib. We never ever saw you once. Okay? We never saw you once. You got it. I will say Dre don't have the same story. So somebody lied. And it's giving her. It's literally giving her a child. Or she could be telling the truth, but why Dre ain't telling the story? He was in jail. You you took him to play football in your area. I let y'all have a year of football. He got his knee hurt at your house. You didn't even have insurance to take my son to get his knee fixed. Let's talk about it. Who got your, who got my son knee fixed after you let him get hurt and let it linger for like six months? They told my son he could never play sports again. You know what I did? I went over to UCLA and I got the best doctor. I paid the deductible. I got the special insurance. I did the white people shit and got my baby's knee fixed. You know what that yeah. Broke it again? Cried. Showed up and cried because they said he couldn't play no more. You know what I did? I swung that knee by the church house after I let the human people fix it and I let Jesus put an anointing on it. And my son played the rest of his whole high school, all, all through college, no, no problems at all. You couldn't do that. You know why you couldn't do that? Because you're not saved. You didn't do that because oh, you're Lord. not baptized. You don't even know where your son got baptized, do you? You don't even know what church your son got baptized in. How does a parent not know where the f they child got baptized? 
He wasn't there. You don't know what junior high school I put him in. You don't even know what grades he graduated with. You just was happy to show up and take him because I allowed you because I had to work. I allowed you to go to his college visit so y'all could have a moment together. Did I not do that for you? When my son wanted me to go and I had to work. You know why I had to work? Because grown-ups work. I don't know what the f*** you were doing. Out selling your t-shirts or whatever in the f*** was doing it wasn't paying no bills it didn't pay no rent and you your ass was over there <clears throat> using uh, y'all mexican she cooking this nigga just need to know this he <clears throat> used molly the maid okay he used that until she was dry to the bone tricked her and helped dangled that paperwork over her head i'm gonna get you your citizenship i'm gonna get you your citizenship it took about 10 years okay Citizenship. I'm gonna get you your citizenship. It took about ten years. Ten but years I'm, is crazy. To actually give her that citizenship because she wised up and was gonna go get that shit from another nigga. Okay, she he went and got to her that citizenship, but it took about ten years of treating that like Molly the maid. Now ask me how I know because I spent the night at a hotel with her and his mama, convincing her to stay with him so that he could get his weekends at her house and continue to visit his son and not be homeless. That's how I know. Now, wherever she at, my right hand to God, you can ask that woman, okay? I have always been team him try to get your sh together so you don't embarrass my son amongst other men. Now, I did that for you. Now, you want to hop on here. So it just seems like Blueface hate the new version of Carlissa. Is that what y'all getting or is y'all think she lying? Because Rock ain't posting your sh Cause she ain't giving you no shout out and try to take it from me. You was over there with Jaden, then all of a sudden, now you switching up. No, I didn't never switch up. No, no, Jaden got mad at me and went with me. So I'm like, she ain't with me. There's no reason for me to have. It's cause you was talking about the grands. Sit here and, and, and pretend like she with me. What's your name is baby? Oh, your name Krishan. Okay, how you doing? Oh, girl. And my son will tell you, even behind the scenes, I told him, you can't move this lady in here while that other lady pregnant that's evil and is demonic. What? Okay, <laughs> I didn't just let her just come in. That's not evil and demonic. That's trifling, but not evil and demonic. The words. She's such a Leo. Like you over there pretending to be. That was so dramatic. Grandpa, daddy, you on with her she this she dragging your son down she that we had a whole conversation before you tricked me into taking you to my son's house after you robbed him okay somebody let's talk about it i did tell my son that's your father i don't care how much money he took from you you can ask whack this is the god's honest truth i ain't gonna never lie for no clout i'm gonna get my clout off these circus telling the truth on their mm, okay, okay? who leaves <laughs> their 15 year old in an apartment and runs off with a woman his mama not his son's mama his mama your son had a damn good mama i fought the whole way through for your son y'all gonna stop playing with my name because god obviously god ain't listening to what y'all saying because i'm still elevating obviously <laughs> i'm okay. not over there changing the dog you are damn. okay i'm not over there pretending to be grandpa you are cooking stay in your place let her that's cook. what you do She's cooking. Stay in your place for I post your sorry ass, fake ass tax returns oh. and your child support bill. Stay in your place. Die. Well, get on here talking about my husband leaving me. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we are going on eight years of stability. Where is that at? Somebody find me that. We are not you. We're not your son. We're not Andre. We ain't none of y'all. Okay? We done fought through this storm together. We done been together six months. Kids. He got three, I got three, a crazy ass circus ass Brady bunch. But we the problem. You running around here doing weird, shit, but we the problem. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll be celebrating all of our, all of April because that's our eighth anniversary year. And um, <laughs> when your old ass wrinkle up and sizzle away, I don't old ass no is crazy. I don't want to hear it because <laughs> we already know <laughs> how, how we already know what it's going to do. Okay. So y'all, um, I'm going to end it right there. Child. Cause she get to a whole nother part where her husband actually was about to leave her. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but in the meantime, in between time, go watch the, um, 
the full live if y'all want to or the rest uh, on royalties where everything I'm about to post that there. All right. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.